What's up guys, uh, Heat King here, bringing you a review on this week's One Piece, chapter 1059. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to just let it go ahead a bit, and then I'm going to review it after a few weeks. Uh, and this way I can just do a quick, maybe, review of the previous chapters, and then just focus on uh, doing a review or reaction of this week's chapter. So, let, what happened last week? I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time remembering what happened. So, Yamato didn't go with the Straw Hats. She decided to stay and explore Wano and do her own things, basically. We got the bounties last week, I believe. Uh, or was there a break? I'm not too sure. But we did get the bounties of the various Straw Hats. Uh, some little, like, obviously some shout-outs uh, from the crew, like, in terms of, oh, yeah, my bounty went higher. And uh, I think Usopp's now called a Sniper God Usopp. So he's called Sniper God Usopp now. We don't get sniper. If we don't get Sniper Island, I'm gonna be disappointed. Okay, like you know, Usopp's lies become truth. Like that better happen. Uh, and all the various characters, you know, Kin and Law went to the own way. We still don't. We still don't know what islands they went to. But uh, yeah, that was that was the main thing that sort of happened in terms of like, oh yeah, we found out what the uh, Straw Hat bounties are. And then the chapter after that, I believe, focused on uh, Cross Guild, where we found out that Buggy is not the leader. Okay, what happened? What happened is uh, basically Crocodile was the leader. He's the one who came up with the concept. He recruited Mihawk, and then they went to get Buggy because he owns Croc money. Uh, so he swindled, he, swindled, he swindled them out of some money. And obviously because he's so charismatic, his followers, when they were designing the posters, they decided to put Buggy in the middle. And this confused the world government because they assumed that meant that he was the big bad, basically. Like, he was the big boss of them all, which is not true. And Buggy got the, you know, he got his ass beaten by both Mihawk and Crocodile for it. So, yeah, he's not in a very powerful position, actually. Like, obviously he's got that reputation right now. But it's not helping him, it's not helping anyone. Crocodile is pissed because uh, they, they even gave new bounties to all three of them. But obviously Crocodile's bounty is very low compared to freaking Buggy who's like, like in the three billion uh, set, like, uh, sector. So it's like, oh wow, what a, what a piss take really. So yeah, uh, it, it's a very interesting development basically because... We, we, it, but, but Luffy was right, Buggy is a moron. Like there's no way he would have been able to like make himself an emperor, it's just impossible. So in other words, Crocodile stole the title from him. It's Crocodile that should be... The, you know, one of the emperors, not not Buggy. So, wow, yeah, well, well done to Buggy. Well done for being, for just uh, and and that's his, that's that's not even his fault. It's not even his fault. It's the fault of his men who just like him too much, not to realize that Buggy's full of himself. That they just decided, oh, let's put Buggy in the middle, you know, because we we love him. And yeah, that just that just opened a whole can of worms, basically. So yeah, uh, it's not it's not good. It's not good. It's not good for Buggy right now. Like in a way, in a way, he's, he's like a prisoner right now. Like like uh, with, with Crocodile and Mihawk. Like they're not they're not allies technically speaking. Uh, but it's gonna be interesting to see where this relationship goes and how and what happens uh, when they end up. Uh, uh, what is it meeting uh, the straw hats because I imagine there will be a fight there will be a fight of some sort But uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see but yeah, that's that that's my quick thoughts on those previous chapters Not uh, essentially not a lot happened It was just mostly like uh, just like in terms of like building up the characters and the roles in in, in what's gonna become this final saga essentially uh, But yeah, uh, let's go into this chapter now 1059 and before I start of course guys remember to like and subscribe, please Yeah and yeah, we'll start. Uh, we'll start here. Okay, here we go then. One Piece, ten fifty nine, chapter ten fifty nine, <laughs> the Captain Kobe incident. Oh, so Kobe's finally going to get a moment here. So where did we leave off? I believe Augustino came in, or Caesar came in to help out uh, when it came to German six, six Cold Blooded Voyage Volume eighteen. The effects of Caesar's hallucinogenic gas. So Katagori and Oven are fighting each other now. So yeah, brilliant. I'm curious when this when this when this uh, cover page is gonna end because I want to move on to a new one. Like like, like come on, let's let's move on. Right? I imagine we'll get a Yamato cover page actually. Like we're seeing it, we're gonna see what she's gonna be up to. I think that's what's gonna happen after this cover page ends. I think we're gonna get Yamato because uh, I can't think of anyone else that would make sense to explore in this period uh, unless we're gonna be sticking with a uh, kid. And law actually had seen what they're and where they're gonna go, but yeah, let's start now. A solitary ship upon the ocean near Sphinx, Whitebeard's homeland, New World. Uh, all right, thanks again for the ride, yo. Uh, you, you're really not going to join the crew, Marco. Ha, <laughs> quit dreaming. So, is this no, this isn't Luffy because we can tell from the little ship drawn here in this panel that's not the sunny. That's a Shanks' ship. 
Yep, it's Shanks a ship. Marco's on it. Uh, I'm way too old and worn out to keep playing babysitter for you great pirates. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not like I'm a handful or anything. Back me up here. Back, back. Uh, afraid I can't. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is Shanks a ship and Marco's flying off to Spinks Island. And Spinks Island is is Whitebeard's. It's, it's Whitebeard's homeland. Okay, interesting. I still think uh, Weevil is going to go there and fight Marco, but uh, because of the whole situation with the Warlords, I'm curious where, what position he's in. You'd think he would have joined up with uh, Cross Skill, but maybe that's something that's going to happen later on. Uh, see you around a little earlier back in Wano, so we're going to get some back, uh, some flashbacks here. A lot of people complained that Wano just sort of ended without uh, concluding a lot of setups that were, you know, plot points that were set up. Uh, one of them sort of like being uh, Zoro visiting uh, Raimund's grave. I got a weird feeling that either the anime is going to extend this, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in in the arc, uh, in the anime, the anime is going to extend these sequences, and we're actually going to get these plot points, or we're going to see flashbacks of these moments. Like I feel like the Raimund grave might be a flashback for Zoro that we'll get when we focus on him later on. So. Uh, and maybe other parts as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I, I, do, I do agree with people when they say there was a lot that just sort of just felt uh, that they just sort of went by like. Yeah, Wano definitely felt rushed by the end, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, this you know, with that out of the way now, we can just hopefully focus on uh, more well-paced arcs. But, uh, so, you know, since it's the final war, I imagine we're going to see a lot of familiar faces. And I'm wondering if Warner was sort of an experiment to see if Oda can handle multiple characters in a war setting. So, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, a little earlier back in Warner, seriously, you're not leaving with us? Come on, be a pirate. Say it ain't so, Yamato. Oh, so Yamato. This is Yamato deciding when she's going to stay. Okay, she's with Luffy, Zoro, Jinbei, Sanjay. I think this is when they're overlooking when Momonosuke just had his fight, maybe. So she's gone up there now with her. You probably already know this, but that forest guy was only driven off thanks to whoever caused that immense burst of hockey. Kaido might be gone now, but his absence has opened up the floodgates for guys like that to pour into the country. Can't just abandon everyone now, can I? So Yamato is staying to defend Wano, and she's right. She's right. She can't. She can't leave. She's she's the strongest one, I think, there in Wano. So she has to. She has to kind of stay now. She's got a point. Besides, I doubt either of us would enjoy our adventures if we were always worrying about Wano. Yeah, Luffy's thinking about that. But man, I still really want to be one of you. Be a real pirate. Real be a real crewmate. Uh, she's so happy and smiling about it, thinking about it. I guess you got a point. It would be a load off my mind. Yeah, it, it's also a load of Luffy, Luffy's mind to know that uh, Yamato would be there to protect Wano in case things go wrong. Which usually they do. Okay, I'll leave Momo and the others to you. Alright. Uh, careful, Yamato. Uh, Momo has a plot of pride. Don't uh, wound it. That's Zoro. Is that Zoro saying it? And he's, where is he? Is he on top of like a rooftop? And there's, there's Marco flying down. I know, I'll find another reason for me to stay. Yamato chan, straw hat, and there's Yamato, uh, Marco coming down. There's a ship nearby that'll give me a lift, so I'll be heading off first, yo. Marco, you're leaving already? Yeah. You saved me back in the summit more, right? I never got to say thanks to Jibei, take Ace's brother and go, yeah. Back then, we all seemed ready to spring into action. Makes you wonder why, doesn't it, Jibei? Oh, wah -ha -ha, that was a while ago, who could say? A nice little callback to that moment. I'm sure Ace will be proud to see how far you've gone, yo. Uh, she, 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 oh yeah, <laughs> he would be, he would be proud, he would be proud to the point where Ace might be like, yo, can I join your crew, guys? I, I can be my, I can be my, uh, Emperor Brothers, my, uh, bodyguard or something, and I imagine if that happened, like, in, 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 a, in, a, in an alternative reality, in an alternative reality, Luffy, Ace, and Sabo probably would have all teamed up together to form their own big-ass pirate crew, like, or, or sort of similar to Cross Guild, if you will. Or they all would have like become their own emperors essentially, like, but they would have worked together to achieve that. Like, imagine, imagine how what the world would have been like if 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 those guys had been emperors. No, 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 like you know, like, no, no, freaking Kaido, no Big Mom, no Blackbeard, and it was just them free and hell. Maybe with with Whitebeard, just sort of giving like giving like showing them the ropes, like of how to be an emperor. With Shanks, like it, it's 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 sad to kind of imagine what could have been. I, I always like to like I, I always like the idea of getting a what if arc maybe to see that happen like like it would it would be interesting to see like the difference uh, the different kind of reality that would have occurred if 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 those character if Ace had still been alive if you will and if Sobo hadn't lost his memory. 
if Sabo hadn't lost his memory, he would have been there to save Ace 100%. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, seen the fan-made drawing I think that Oda did, like where Sabo comes in and he saves Ace and Luffy from Aikido just as he's about to hit him. But uh, yeah, uh, it breaks my heart, man. It breaks my heart. But yeah, so Marco's going off. The times belong to you, youngsters. Now stay strong. Got it. Uh, now we're moving on to this mountain. Is that the flower capital? No, we're moving to somewhere else. The Isle of Woman, Amazon Lily Calm Belt. Kobe did say he was going after Hancock, right? So, yeah. Uh, oh, but, yeah, it's about Hancock. This is the first time in history men have invaded like this. The town is in bad shape. As long as I'm here, the Navy won't stop coming. But where in the world would I go? So, yeah, Hancock needs to go then. Since it's come to this, I think I'd better go and marry Luffy. You always think that, so there's the old grandma saying that. It would be interesting for Hancock to join to join the Straw Hats if she's able to escape and maybe get to Luffy and then join him in his crew. But then, will we, will we get a lot of lovey-dovey stuff? Oh, that has always said he doesn't do romance, but uh, I think he's like a he's, a... he's a big fat liar, I think, in terms of that. I think... Uh, I think he does do romance, but in a very subtle way. Like I, I keep saying it, man. There's something going on with Robin and Frankie. Like, like since the time skip happened, like there's just something off. With, like with those two, like some sort of closeness, and the fact that Oda's even said that Robin and Frankie are basically the mother and father of the Straw Hat crew. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. We we'll have to wait and see by the end, because usually writers like to do, like to pull this crap by the end of the series, like, and it's like, okay, here are here are the shippings, like. I'm not really, I'm, I don't really care about shippings, you know. For me, for me, it's always been a case of it's very obvious uh, who the main character is going to end up with. Uh, like when you really, when you really look at where the story's going, or what or what female character is most attracted to them or really loves them. Like you know, a lot of people are like, oh, Naruto's going to end up with Sakura, and it's like, no, it's definitely going to be Hinata because that's you know that's her mission. She wants to be with Naruto, so that's her end goal, and that's what's going to happen. Or like uh, with uh, freaking Bleach, like oh Ichigo and Rukia are gonna end up, and it's like no, it's gonna be Orihime because again she loves him. You know the female character always gets what they want. You know if a female character loves a certain character, they always get that character. This is like just freaking common. Like so with this, there, there is no love. I, I guess I guess Hancock like she loves Luffy. So realistically speaking, her goal is to be with Luffy and to marry him. So realistically speaking, her end goal is going to be ending up with Luffy. So most likely she will end up with him, which I I don't really mind. You know she's nice, she's nice. Uh, Luffy's made her kinder in a way. So, but if I if I had to choose, if I had to choose, this is this is where the hypocr hypocrisy sort of comes in. I would have preferred Nami, Nami, and, and Luffy and Nami together, maybe like uh, just because of the simple simple fact that uh, when we had when we got to Air Long Park, there was that moment where Nami was stabbing herself and Luffy stopped her. And then you know, you know, she asked him for help, and he put the hat on her head. Like he trusted her with the hat. Uh, I don't know how many other characters we've seen in the, in the crew that Luffy trusts his hat to. There might be others uh, that I'm forgetting. Um, I think I think uh, obviously Luffy was unconscious during the war, so obviously the hat was going around to various people. And then GB, I think, oh got it, or Law got it, and they gave it back to Luffy. But uh, in terms of trust, in terms of Luffy himself giving the hat to people he trusts, uh, I only remember I only remember Nami. Like and that for me spoke like huge bloody volumes that he would trust the thief of all people with the with the freaking straw hat. Do you know what I mean? And that the fact that she's fixed it up for him as well. Like, um, you know, that's always been my like. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's a there's an unspoken bond there, if you will, an unspoken bond of love. I think like, but we'll have to wait and see. Like, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Like, but if I if I had to take a wild guess, I think uh, by the end it probably will be Hancock and Luffy, unless Hancock ends on meeting someone. That she prefers over Luffy, but I don't see that happening. I did forget though. We also got the romance with uh with in Dressrosa with Baby Nine. Was it? Was it Baby Nine? Is that what her character was called? You know, one of Dressrosa's uh, female thugs who ended up marrying one of the uh, uh, guys who's now part of Luffy's fleet. So that was that was romance there, sort of like. Uh, but ro romance is there, I think. Romance is there. It's just like Lu older, just sort of likes to downplay but it's it's sort of there plus a romance dawn like the story literally is called romance dawn like for a man who says he doesn't do romance he does it he does it but he does it very subtly i think like but yeah uh, anyway uh, a few weeks prior to the gates are down we're under fire we're under fire the kaiju are resisting deploy uh, the new pacifistas the seraphinias should be on the front lines still not ready to come out and face us hancock get ready to record what happens roger Navy Vice Admiral Yamaka Ka Kaiji. 
And then we'll see some of them, we're seeing some of familiar faces here, some of the familiar Amazons. Who is that? I can't fight a child. The chapter of overwhelming strength also isn't that. Uh, okay, yeah. So, moving on to the uh, well, third part of this video. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we got new pacifistas. That's crazy. We got new pacifistas. They're called Seraphins, should be on the front line. So, Vegapons upgraded his design after all these years. And we're seeing a child, and these characters, uh, the, the, the Amazonians, they seem they seem to recognize this child. But here's the weird bloody thing. This child has wings on her back, and there's fire on them. And uh, the way the skin color is, it, it reminds me of King. Yo, are you are, are they gonna reveal that the freaking marines or world government whatever destroyed that society, took the bodies whatever, and have you been experimenting on them to turn them into these weapons? Is that is that what's gonna be revealed? What's going on here? Warship spotted. Uh, watch the stern. Uh, okay, uh, it's an admiral, I guess. And there's a warship that's coming. Huh? What the attention? Report from the shore. Pirates incoming. Is that? I think that's Blackbeard ship. That's Blackbeard ship. Blackbeard's coming to Amazon Lily. Holy crap. Yeah, Blackbeard's here. So, Bla and Emperor's crew is here. The Blackbeard pirates. Ah, so now you've got Blackbeard's pirates coming in. It's a sea quake. So he's using the, he's using the earth, earthquake uh, fruit to do, to do, to cause the waves. The sea kings will notice us. And there's Blackbeard with two of his commanders. The ugly girl and the fat long nose dude. Uh, I don't know their names. Zee ha I've come for the pirate empress. I won't let a power like hers fall into the Navy's clutches. So the fact Blackbeard is here off the Hancock is very suspicious. Um, why does he want Hancock's power? Is this for one of his crewmates? Ha ha ha, that Hancock, what a gorgeous face. Her head will make a wonderful trophy after I wring her neck. So that's the uh, ugly chick talking. You can have your way with her after we take our powers. Hang on. Don't you think we could have more fun with her if we took her alive? Okay, if this guy's implying what I think he's implying, he needs to die, and he needs to die fast. Okay, we're not, we're not doing that shit here. This is One Piece. Okay, we're not going that dark. Okay, okay. Even though, even though it can't go. I mean, okay, it, it did just go dark. I mean, this guy is literally saying what I think we all suspect he's saying. Have more fun with her by taking her. Yeah, yeah. That's back to the villa. I guess they need to be fucked up, right? Um, they need to be messed up. So. They need to be messed up, yeah. Just that's, that's gross. That's gross. Jesus, Vice Admiral, we need to give, you, give, give. We need you to give the order to engage Blackbeard. Hold fire until we hear from HQ. So there's Blackbeard doing his earthquake. He's hitting the air. Ah, I'm not here for the flea for you fleas. He's causing, yeah. He's causing like some sort of. We're kind to. We're kind to the island. And there's the. Ca I don't know. Is that a cave? What is that? Is like a cave? Is that a vault? Is that a secret? I don't know. What's going on here? Get out here, boy Hancock. And now we're kind to Colby. Can't say I'm surprised. We expected other pirates to want a piece of the former warlords. Yeah, I mean they got bounties on their heads, so maybe that's what they're after. Uh, well, besides the devil fruit, Hancock's son. The navy isn't looking for a fight. If you surrender yourself to us, I promise we'll leave immediately. Let us handle this, sister. This hero of theirs is sure of theirs sure is conceded. You'd think they would get they, they would. Uh, uh, what is it called? Get along since they're both fans of Luffy. Don't waste your breath. I'll never submit to another's ca captivity or after what she went through in her youth. She definitely wouldn't. Uh, wait, sister. Don't do it. And then who's that? Someone's heel? Is that? Yeah, that's Hancock, I think. And then, um, Commander Teach, save us. Nothing phases this thing. Huh? So something just happened. One of, the sh one of Blackbeard's ships just went down, I think. Or exploded. Wait, you're kidding. White hair, brown skin, black wings. Yeah, white hair, black, brown skin. Yeah, it's it's it, it it's one of King's people. What were they called again? You guys aren't serious. This kid took all of you down by himself. A kid. P X. So now there's another kid. This looks like a boy. Uh, so there's a fee There's a little girl one, and there's a boy one. Don't tell me he's a pacifista. And this kid, I don't know what he's got. He's got a sword in his hand. He just. He just sliced uh, the freaking mountain on Lily Amazon down, like the, you know that mountain that's got like snakes on it, like surrounding it, like sort of like the whole Kage uh, Canyon, whatever. It just got sliced, like a core of it just got sliced off. Damn it, a pacifist, a brat. What the hell is going on? And and the kid attacks Whitebeard, and Whitebeard defends himself with Haki. This is huge. Black hole. So now he's opening a black hole. Is he on the is he on the water now? I feel I think Blackbeard's on the water now, or is he? No, he's on the island, or is he I don't know what's going on. He's on the island, I think. He's he's landed on the island. He's using Black Hole. 
the freaking darkness wave is spreading out and then you've got uh, ba Bauer Hancock coming out she's a slave arrow and she turns all the she turns all the marines near her like a whole squadron of them into stones uh, Hel oh man, Hel Hel Helmerpon son, he just he got turned. Hel Helman, uh, Morgan's son just got turned into stone. Damn. Uh, well, he well, he's out of the game. You too, Vice Admiral Yamakichi. So he's gone as well. And now you've now you've got the pacifista coming. Hey, pacifista, stop that! You'll smash the uh, people being turned to stone. Stop right now. That's an order. Perfume and Gobi's uh, like what? And then now, oh god! And now you've got Blackbeard. He's he's got Bauer Hancock by the throat, and there's Kobe. Like on his knees, looking up at Blackbeard, holding Bauer Hancock in in, in in his grasp. Oh god, this is not looking good. You got the Amazon pirates there as well. Like Zehaha, Snake Princess. We can't. She can't use her powers. Get your filthy hands off her. So Blackbeard's darkness negates users from using their power. So what is it? Is it similar to Sea Star? What the hell's going on here? Former warlord. That's how he captured Ace then. Uh, former warlord, pirate empress, Bauer Hancock. Bounty one point. Uh, 1,000.659 billion and then we got uh, Emperor Blackbeard M Marshall D. Teach Bounty 3,000.996 billion oh damn I see they don't call you Empress for nothing most of the morons on my crew are petrified you sure got us good so most of these uh, I've had my eye on your power for quite a while my beauty is what makes this power formidable if you kill me, all your little friends will remain statues forever. Whoever inherits my inher inherits my power won't be able to release them. And but Colby's like, I knew it. Bauer Hancock is far trickier than anyone expected. So they can't kill her. If you kill her, you can't turn anyone back. So interesting. What do I do? Everyone's been turned to stone. And uh, yeah, you can see how Bob. You can see yeah, all the Marines. Even those that were shielded, like, and they're smiling like it's crazy. And there's an image of Luffy, of Luffy's poster on, on the building there, like, overlooking them. Seems like we're at a bit of an impasse, doesn't it, hero? You did me a favor at Rocky Port. That made it possible for me to outsert Ochoku and become the boss of Pirate Island. Ah, so Kobe screwed up by doing that and allowing Blackbeard to take over. See, people don't think, the Marines don't think. They just go ahead and they do their crap without thinking about the consequences. If I hand, if I unhand the woman, do you reckon she'd play nice and change everyone back to normal? It'd be a headache for me if she didn't return, restore the Marines. I'll do it if you two get off my island. Yeah, and he's crushing her neck now. He's like, you know, I just don't buy it. The way I see it, if I let go, you just turn us to stone, right? I honestly don't think any man can resist your charms. This is a real head scratcher, but I guess I gotta kill you. Please wait, don't throw all those lives away. I knew the Navy would lay siege to the I, I Oh, someone's come in, and it's Rayleigh. Rayleigh just came in to save the day, Shang style. I knew the Navy would lay siege to the island, but I didn't think the terrain here would get this devastated. Sorry I'm late, Hancock. Dark King Rayleigh. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Blackbeard's scared. He's shitting himself, and so is Colby. Yeah, they're all shitting themselves. Even Blackbeard, and he's an emperor, but... Keep in mind, Rayleigh was 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 part of the was part of the king of the pirates. Okay, that's that's a bit above emperor now, isn't it? Right. So this dude should be stronger than Blackbeard, Colbert, everyone combined there. Whitebeard's old apprentice, huh? I know it's immature to admit this, but I really don't like you. What? What? The silver? The silver? The silver's Rayleigh? Like Colby's eyes just blodging out of his head, like, and and the uh, yeah, Blackbeard's pirates. Like what? And then obviously Hancock, you know, Rayleigh, like just yeah. The pirate, the pirate king's right hand man, Dark King, Silver's Rayleigh. We don't even see his bounty. Hancock, release everybody that's been turned to stone. I will ensure this de-escalates without issue. Then the invaders will leave the island. I won't allow any funny business. And then we go to present day. So this was a flashback then. This was a flashback to this event we just cut to. And now we're cutting to the present day after this entire crap has been, has been concluded. That mountain is still cut though. <laughs> I'm so glad you managed to survive that. It's thanks to you, Rayleigh. And then we got, uh, what's her name? Uh, that girl that was at the bar with Rayleigh in Ar Archipelago. Uh, we got Rayleigh sitting down on a rock and, there she, and she's sitting next to him. We got Boa Hancock on her knees, like like sort of her hands on Rayleigh's knees. Man, you can tell she's like, just, just done, like exhausted. Oh wow, what a revelation. Her name is, is Shokoyuka. 
Former Empress of the Amazon Lily from two generations ago, ex-captain of the Kaiju Pirates, Shanku Yonku Shoki. Is that her name? It's Shoki. So she she's the previous Empress? And look how hot she looks. This is two generations ago? How old is she? She's still looking fine. Yo. <laughs> Progress sometimes causes new problems. Even the calm belt isn't safe anymore with Vegapunk's sea stone paddle ships out there. So now the, the Marines have sea stone paddle ships between the and, the and the granny between the Navy's new weapons and Blackbeard's arrival. I thought we were done for, and yo. To be frank, well, this, is, this is Rayleigh speaking, we got lucky. Circumstances allowed me to resolve things with my reputation. I've gotten older. Chunky's like, I'm pretty certain. I wouldn't win a head-on fight against Blackbeard these days. Oh no, I think that's Riley talking. Yeah, right. From the sounds of it, it's gone a this video's gone a lot longer than I anticipated. This is a long chapter. A lot is happening here. From the sounds of it, the Navy are looking to replace the Seven Warlords with these new weapons. So we went from uh, from Warlords to Pacifistas to Seraphites or whatever. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It makes sense because uh, they need they need they need something new to hold the power. But kids, kids, what's going on here? To replace the seven warlords with those new weapons, even after Eren, you've got her sisters now. Uh, even after everything, did those two didn't have a single scratch on them? It was bizarre. Yeah, one of the one of the uh, uh, pacifists or Sephiroth, whatever, looks looks like Hancock. What the hell? But they, they they got the abilities of the of kings. They got kings' abilities. What is going on here? It was bizarre. One of them looked just like Big Sis when she was a kid. Don't tell me the other one was was like a young Mihawk then, because the freaking sword being able to slice through the island. Okay, this is getting very weird. There's a clone clone fruit at this point. Okay, that, that's the only thing that makes sense. Someone has a clone clone fruit. Someone is cloning the warlords. Okay, just like they, somehow they cloned Kuma and they turned him into a pacifist. Now they're cloning the warlords, okay, they cloned ha Boa Hancock and then they used, they, they combined her with, with King's uh, people's abilities. But then who's the boy? The boy must be, must be, me, must be Mihawk. That must be a young Mihawk they cloned. How are they doing this? Is Vegapunk genetically growing these using blood that he got from them somehow? Or does someone have a clone clone fruit and that's what they're using? But then why do they start off as children? Is this how it goes? They start off as children and then they grow them. So is this a thing that's been going on for years? Like what is going on here? That's creepy man. Like seriously, I want some answers for, for Christ's sake. But you can you can see the setup now. You can see the setup for why King was introduced now. Like like King was introduced so you can so they could introduce so Oda could introduce these guys into the story now. Uh, I don't know if that was planned from the beginning, but <laughs> well yeah. Yes, we'll be docking at Egghead Port soon. Regarding uh, the kidnapping of Captain Kobe. So Kobe got kidnapped. Captain Kobe, the hero of the Rocky Port incident, has been adopted has been abducted abducted by one of the four emperors, Blackbeard. His current status is unknown. Word spreads across the world. So Kobe's been kidnapped by Blackbeard. It's pretty obvious what's gonna happen. They're gonna take him to Cross Guild, and they're gonna they're gonna give him Cross Guild, which which makes sense because it means that Kobe will now reunite with uh, El Elvada or whatever her name was, right? So that's gonna be a funny reunion because they both look so different from that very first chapter, I believe. So that's like history in the making after like what 25 years. That's gonna be crazy. But I see I see that's what's gonna happen. I see that's that's what's gonna happen. So that means the Black Pair parts are gonna have to meet up with Cross Guild. Uh, and they're going to have to give Kobe over to them and they're going to get some sort of money or whatever for it, I imagine. Um, where does this lead? Uh, Luffy? I don't know. We still have no idea where Luffy's going. We don't know what the next island is. We have no idea where Law is going. We have no idea where Kid's going. Uh, everything is up for the win. The fact that Marco is going to Spinks Island, I think pretty much means that uh, that's not the island Luffy's going to. Because otherwise, uh, Marco realistically would have gone with Luffy's crew if they were going to Spinks Island anyway. So we're not going to Spinks Island. We're not going to get Luffy versus Weevil there. Like, uh, protecting Blackbeard's homeland and Marco on that. I don't think that's going to happen. No, that might be someone else. Um... It could still be one of the islands that one of the three that one of the other two went to. So it could be Kid or Law that's going there. We don't know yet. We don't know. But then why did he just go with them? 
So maybe this is the, maybe maybe this is a different island we're going to. I don't know. We we'll have to wait and see. We we'll have to wait and see. But I'm very curious. I'm very curious. But uh, so far this is world building. So far this is a case of building up the building up the world, seeing where the world state is currently, uh, giving us the bounties of all the major characters, setting up the major characters going forward. Because at this point, yes, uh, Crocodile, Bucky, and Mihawk are major characters going forward. This chapter has now confirmed that yes, Kobe and Hancock and Rayleigh and that are going to be major characters going forward in this final saga. So it's going to be interesting to see like this is this very much feels like a very big massive uh, e epilogue aftermath of Wano essentially like and we're just seeing where the world is where it's currently at I imagine next chapter we're going to focus on other more characters besides the Straw Hats and uh, we're going to see what everyone else's status is so we see what all the players are where, where things will finally get moving I imagine when this is all over where we're gonna get some sort of big announcement where where when we're gonna start the next arc it's gonna be like the final saga begins next arc or the current arc or new arc and this is what the new arc is gonna be and or maybe we get the title for what the final saga is I think the final saga is called One Piece isn't it yeah I think uh, I think or something so uh, but it's gonna be interesting if it's if this is gonna happen after this or if we're gonna get one more arc with Straw Hats and then we begin the final saga that's what I'm curious about like. Where's it all going? How's it all leading? It's like, ugh, the excitement. But yeah, good chapter. Can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, and yeah, guys, as always, remember to like and subscribe. Please do so. And yeah, I apologize if I'm not getting these up every weekly now. I think I'm just going to do these like every few weeks now instead, uh, person gives me. Because if I'm doing this every week, I'm just losing time on other things. So that's kind of what I want to do. So maybe every two or three weeks, I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, and it, it, I think it just works out better for me, like, because I, 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 I am sort of getting bored of doing these. It's, it's getting really exhausting. Like, uh, I'm definitely not made for this. I think. Uh, well, maybe if I wasn't working like three times a, a, a week, I know it's not a lot, but still, it's like it's just exhausting. But yeah, and plus, damaging my freaking wrist as well. So yeah, uh, well yeah, let's see how this goes. But yeah, great, good chapter. No, great chapter. Let's say it's a great chapter. Yeah, great chapter. But uh, we'll see where this goes next, uh, guys. So yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.